one more option that you're going to have when it comes time to making the top of your project is if you want the top to be laminate or if you want the top to be wood like the rest of your cabinet. We're going to do this different than we did in Woods 1. And if we want it to be laminate, we're going to use a piece of particle board to cut the top out. If we want the top to be uh, alder or oak, we're actually going to use a piece of the veneer to cut it out. So if you're a person that does not want to cut it out of alder or does not want to cut it out of laminate and you want to make it wood to match the rest of your project, follow this step. We are going to first get the size of the top of our cabinet. To do that, we're going to use the dimension tool. We're going to orbit over it, and we want to get the overall dimension. That's one foot three inches, and one foot ten and a sixteenth, which is kind of a funky dimension. I think it has to do with this not being all the way over. So let's quickly move this over. It's not touching. Zoom in even further. There we go. Now we're touching. There we go. Now we got regular dimensions again. So if I want that to convert to feet, I have 12 plus 10 is 22 inches. And over here I got 12 plus 3 is 15 inches. So I'm going to need my top to be 15 by 22. And I can just draw that right next to this. So I'm going to grab my hand tool so I can move over and this is going to be out of the same three quarter inch thick material so I am just going to type 15 comma 22 then I'm going to make it three quarters thick 0.75 I'm going to double check that because it clicked a little bit funny on me and it came out at 13 sixteenths. It's not a super big deal. Just move this down 0 0.0625 or a sixteenth of an inch to make that three quarters. I'm going to make sure I erase the dimensions because when I bring this into VCarve, I don't need all the dimensions on there. But I'll be sure that I save this again. And I would also make absolutely certain that I use, hardly see with this little recording going, but I would also make sure that I downloaded a copy of this and save that in my network drive. So it goes to Eurobox cabinet. To get it into my network drive, I go to this PC. I find my username. You probably have way more folders than you will, but I'm going to put it in Woods 2. I have a whole folder there dedicated to this project. Euro box example, and I'm going to drop my file right into there. So now I've got the downloaded version as well as the version in the cloud. We're going to need that downloaded version to bring it into VCarve Pro.